Good evening, brothers and sisters! Magandang gabi po! Ito po si Michael, ako po si Rexan, and welcome to our online EDM gathering. Month end na mga kapatid, pero mm-hmm. nakakatuwa dahil ang daming celebrations yes. this month of June. Parang love month. Mm, love month. Nandiyan yung celebration ng Solemnity of the Hearts of Jesus. Tama! Nandiyan yung Memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Yes! And then very recently, diba, we also celebrated the Father's Day. Yan! Yeah. Happy Father's Day sa mga tatay! Ama! Ano sa ba? mga papa! Itay! Papshi! <laughs> Papshi! Papi! Daddy! Uh, daddy! Ayan! Happy Father's Day pa sa inyong lahat! Siyempre, para sa ating dalawa, yung two hearts become... Wow. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary. <laughs> uh, truly, every day is a blessing. Amen! Amen. And now, with hearts full of thanksgiving and love, let us come and worship Him in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen! Amen.
Thank you, God, for tonight, for another online Ilium gathering, the source of our spiritual nourishment, our wisdom, and joy. Thank you for being our Father, our God, our life, and our love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Now we would like to welcome our Teacher of the Word, our spiritual father here in the community, a man full of wisdom and joy um, in serving the Lord. Just like David, he is after God's heart. Full-time servant of the Lord, beside the Elder of Eden Communities, Brother Willie Nakar. Good evening to all of you. I would like to talk to you today about the power of God's promise. Believe me, there is an undeniable and tangible power in the promises of God. I'm sure many of you have felt and experienced the fulfillment of the Lord's promise in Scripture. Marahil ay naradasan nyo na ang katuparan ng ilang mga pangako ng Diyos sa inyong buhay. Ngunit minsan ay nakakalimutan natin ito. Sometimes we forget as we are busy with our daily lives. We can lose sight of the spiritual power that the Lord makes available to us. There are also others who are not aware of the truth that God has blessed us with divine power. Scripture says, that God has bestowed divine power on us. As pertains to every true believer in Christ and a member of the body of Christ, which is the bride of the Lamb, whom the Bible describes as the church its splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, holy and without blemish. Ephesians 5 verse 37. So what has he bestowed on us, you might ask? The answer is in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 and following. Everything that makes for life and devotion through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. In other words, whatever we desire in our life in Christ, and whatever we hope for in Christ are available to us. The Old Testament tells us that the people perish for want of knowledge. Hosea of chapter 4, verse 6. The promise in the New Testament is that everyone who believes in Jesus, the Son of God, might not perish, but might have eternal life. John 3:16. With and through the knowledge of God, He has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises so that through them we may come to share in the divine nature. After escaping from the corruption that is in the world because of evil desires, St. Peter's encouragement in Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5-7, to is for us to supplement our faith with the following. Number one, virtue. Fulfill God's design 
by living a life of moral excellence. We have to be committed to live for God with faith, hope and love. Number two, knowledge. Study God's word to gain wisdom in order to combat falsehood. Number three, self-control. Revere God so that we choose godly behavior and exhibit the fruit of the Holy Spirit. As mentioned in Galatians 5, verses 22 to 23. Number four, perseverance. Develop a hopeful attitude even in difficulties because we are confident in God's character. Number five, godliness. Honor the Lord in all your relationships. Number six, brotherly kindness. Display a warm-hearted affection for fellow believers. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, we read, So then while we have the opportunity, let us do good to all, but especially to those who belong to the family of the faith. Seven, love. Sacrifice for the good of others. In the footnote to Second Peter chapter 1, verses 3 to 4, it says that the Christian life in its fullness is a gift of divine power. Affecting the knowledge of Christ, the bestowal of divine promises. If God has so generously bestowed upon us such amazing divine power, we just have to know about it, believe it, ask for it, receive it, and thank God for it. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Brother Willie, para sa isang meaningful and spirit-filled teaching na mula sa inyong pagtuturo. The vision of healing communities is to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. If you want to be part of this work of evangelization, please give your tithes, love offerings, and donations to any of the following accounts. We pray for those who gave their tithes and love offerings. May the good Lord bless you a hundredfold for your generosity. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Pray to Our Lady of Elam, O dear Mary, Lady of Elam, sweet and pure, pray that your Son Jesus will, to innocence and holiness restore the hearts and minds of long lost souls. Pray that the seed of glad tidings sown in our hearts will stir us to great hope, faith, and love. Pray for the vision and intentions of the community and of the Church that with the Lord's watchful care and generous provisions, they shall all be. Pray that a polluted world and all institutions will, from a powerful outpouring of the latter rain, experience the blessings of fresh living water, a renewal of the spirit and healing of our land and of all nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Elim Missions Prayer Lord, I make myself available for the ministry of missionary evangelization on my knees or in the mission field, within our borders or on foreign soil, for a single soul or for the multitudes. Empower me for abundant soul winning. By your spirit, make me an instrument of your love and mercy, a witness bold and unashamed, and an inspiring bearer of the good news. Send us the laborers, technology, and resources to reach the world. Help us break barriers, overcome obstacles, and penetrate new territories that all the peoples of the earth may know that you are God and there is no other. And to all those we reach, Lord, raise them up to become your true disciples. Here I am, Lord. Send me. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray. We have claimed your promises, O oh Lord, and we believe that we who claim them will see fulfillment and that you will see to its fulfillment. We do not know enough about what you will do, but one thing we believe in is that you will do what you promise. In Jesus' name, Amen. And just like that, brothers and sisters, natapos na naman ang ating isang online Elim Gathering. Have a restful holiday tomorrow. See you again next week. Bye-bye! God bless! God bless. Oh,